I also quickly want to talk about open source because that is critical to for me and also Akamai is now investing heavily in open source. Uh, of course, you have Spin, Spin Cube. Uh, you're you're involved with Helm as well, uh, Matt. Uh, can you talk about what kind of investment engagement will be there post acquisition with these communities? Or, or will it expand beyond those uh, communities when it comes to the next generation of serverless architectures? Yeah, it was really important to us as we started Fermion. And even, uh, I mean, Swapnil, we've been talking now for over over four years about this. It was so important to us to, uh, to, to reach out to, to developers the way developers wanted and, 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 and accommodate what the developers were asking for, right? Developers, it's very important to them that they have open source tooling that they can use because that gives them the freedom to see how it really works, to look underneath the hood. When they find errors, they can even help us fix them. They can add new features. And over even our four year history, we've seen such a, such a, huge volume of people becoming involved, whether it's fixing documentation or help building new features or just giving us feedback into the roadmap. Hey, I looked at the code. Uh, could it could it do this a little bit differently? And that's something that we've been strongly committed to. And it's a commitment that Akamai shares. So, uh, you know, about uh, eight months ago or so, uh, we uh, contributed Spin and SpinCube into the CNCF, which is the same foundation that does Helm and does Kubernetes and, and a whole bunch of other cloud native tools. Uh, and, and that is now an open governed project but we have contributed to uh, continue <laughs> we have continued to contribute to the CNCF projects uh, since the time uh, since March when we initially made that announcement and will continue to do so so spin and spin cube continue to be focal points of what we need to do uh, in order to realize the big vision of making serverless web assembly a thing that is accessible to every developer uh, that can unlock again that ability to write a new class of application we also have worked a lot inside of the Bytecode Alliance. And when it comes to WebAssembly as a standard, WebAssembly is in the, is standardized by the W3, the same organization that standardizes HTML and cascading style sheets. Uh, and Bytecode Alliance is a group that authors specifications for WebAssembly and then authors the reference implementation. So it's an industry consortium and we've been involved in that uh, really almost since its founding. Uh, even before Fermion was a company, many of us were involved in that endeavor. And again, in this period of, of transition, we're going to continue to be involved in Bytecode Alliance and continue to work upstream. The biggest ga uh, gamble that WebAssembly took, right, when the initial web developers at at uh, Mozilla and Microsoft and, and Google and Apple all got together and came up with the original WebAssembly specification, the biggest risk they took was that they needed the ecosystem, particularly the language, uh, the different programming languages, to all buy in and support WebAssembly so that every compiler would be able to compile to it. Every scripting language would be able to run inside of it. Uh, and that continues to be a surprising success in my mind uh, for WebAssembly that it has garnered so much support, but it is the kind of relationship that requires continual nurturing. So we will continue to do our part in that in, in our new roles at Akamai. I'm very excited about that. Akamai already has a fantastic track record for open source development, as does Linode, which is now part of Akamai and other organizations uh, that are related as well. So we're really happy to just kind of drop in there and, and, and be able to continue uh, on the trajectory we've been on for these last four and some years. Well, I mean, Akamai has is, is been committed to the CNCF um, through the way that we sponsor the community, the way that we go to the KubeCon events and try to engage with the developer community to help kind of understand how some of these trends are evolving and give access to technology, you know, in, a, in an early sort of adopter fashion, like we've been doing with some of the ways that we've been coding towards the NVIDIA announcement that we made on our inference cloud. Um, and so that's been, you know, something that we wanted to continue. We've been pledging credits to make sure that we could support project scaling in areas that needed it. Um, and we recently were excited to add the um, Linux uh, kernel as well to the platform and just make sure that we could ensure that it's got a home where, you know, basically it can be secure, but it can be managed properly and we can contribute back to the community and ensure that it remains that way. And so I think, you know, it's, it's an additive thing from an Akamai perspective, and we're hoping that we can actually get a little fluency and, and maybe improve the way that we can engage with the community by learning from the Fermion team, because um, they have set some great examples. And it's something that with Matt coming in, we're actually pretty excited to, to start looking across our portfolio and seeing what else we might be able to do.